Today's Gospel, the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, verses 46 to verse 56, shows us Mary as the example of faith. When we read her Magnificat, we, we can see her as the mother of the Church, as the mother of our faith. This passage corresponds very well with what the Pope says in Article 55 about faith uh, when we read uh, his uh, first encyclical letter, The Light of Faith. What faith brings to society and what, uh, what happens when faith disappears or weakened in society. When faith is weakened, the foundation of humanity also risks being weakened. As the poet T.S. Eliot warned, do you need to behold that even those modest attainments as you can boast in the way of polite society, will hardly survive the faith to which they owe their significance. <coughs> if we remember faith in God from our cities, if we remove faith in God from our cities, mutual trust would be weakened very powerful sentence from the Pope. If we remove faith in God from our cities, mutual trust would be weakened. We would remain united only by fear and our stability would be threatened. In the letter to the Hebrews we read that God is not ashamed to be called their God. Indeed, he has prepared a city for them. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 16. Here the expression is not ashamed is associated with public acknowledgement. The intention is to say that God, by his concrete actions, makes a public avowal that he is present in our midst and that he desires to solidify every human relationship. Could it be the case, indeed, instead, that we are the ones who are ashamed to, go, to call God our God? That we are the ones who are ashamed to call God our God? That we are the ones who fail to confess him as such in our public life, who fail to propose the grandeur of the life in common which he makes possible. Faith illuminates life and society. Faith illuminates life and society. If it possesses a creative light for each new moment of history, it is because it sets every event in relationship to the origin and destiny of all things in the Father. So, if we have time to reread these uh, passages, this Article 55, the second part from The Light of Faith, it can give us a serious guidance and teaching. When faith is weakened, social cohesion is also weakened. When faith disappears from society, mutual trust disappears from society. And we can see it in practice, uh, responses to the global epidemic, I mean personal responses, individual responses to the epidemic show it in a very clear way. Uh, those who deny the vaccine and refuse to take it, it's a sign of trust. 
It's a sign of trust in a caring willpower which is offered both by the local authorities and God himself. So that's why it is so, so important to stand up for our heritage, for our faith. And back to the Gospel, um, Mary is magnificent. She is an example of faith. He trusted God, God's healing power. She trusted and believed that God has an offer which is beneficial for the whole of human race. So, when today we receive our Holy Communion, let us invo invite the Holy Spirit to strengthen our faith. And let us ask this strength for all who need to make an important decision, like taking the vaccination or refusing it.